guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am so excited to transform this room from the pink haven and transform it into something absolutely beautiful and much more subtle. You can see that these walls are very pink and very dark purple. I have gone in and I have done some test paints. So I think this room is gonna be very neutral, but also very much more subtle than this vibrant color that it is now. I anticipate that it is going to take me quite some time to paint this room, but I'm here for it, I'm ready for it. I have been putting <laughs> testers everywhere just to kind of see the difference in color. I'm thinking it's probably going to take two or three coats of paint. My game plan is so when you walk into this room, that wall is going to be black. Everything else is going to be white. Now this used to be Kaylee's room um, before she moved out. This was her room through high school. She actually had the coolest room ever. We have just kind of thrown furniture in here um, over the last couple of years. And when Robbie comes to stay, uh, he actually, this is where he and his girlfriend stay when they come to visit us from Lubbock. So we've actually got his bed in here and just some of his furniture. And then again, just some of the furniture that we just throw in here. So we are going to clean all of this up get this to look much more presentable and make it a really pretty space. I've already gone in and started patching up a lot of the holes that were in here, but I have a lot more to do. We're gonna prep the room for paint and then we're gonna get started. Rob is gonna come up here and help me move all the furniture to the middle of the floor and that way I can get have access to all the walls but I have all the paint things and we're ready to go. We've moved everything to the middle of the room. So now I'm gonna get my spackle and start taking down all of the screws that are in the wall, all the anchors, and patch everything up. We are ready to get painting. I went in, I gave a good sanding to most of these. Most of them don't need it. Like we did a pretty good job of getting it nice and smooth, but we did go in and sand some of them. So this, we're ready, we're ready. We're gonna start with the black wall and then we're gonna move on to this wall and we're gonna do white here, black here, and we're just gonna go for it and we're just gonna see how this goes. I am wondering if this is too white, but I love it, but I'm wondering how I'm gonna like that contrast. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black wall and then I'm also gonna, then I'm gonna go over here to the white and see what that balance looks like. The other thing is I'm a little bit worried about these patch holes. We have gone in and sanded them down but they're not 100% smooth. And smooth is, is subjective because these walls are not smooth. But I'm wondering what these are gonna look like because you could see there were really big holes here. And I use this stuff right here. And it looks pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. But because this wall is gonna be black and it's matte, I'm unsure how much it's gonna stand out. Black first, then white, and we'll go from there. Thank you. 
I've gone through and I cut in all around. Now I did overlap, which I think is fine. We will cut in the straight line when we paint this wall white. So we are cut in all the way around and now we're gonna get some rolling done. Love, 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 love. And what's funny, let me see if I can get back, is where I had painted white, <laughs> that's gonna take a couple coats for sure. This is one coat. I think we're gonna be really good with the two coats, but yay, I do love it. All right guys, here's where we're at. I just finished putting the second coat on this wall. You can see the difference between that and uh, <laughs> this is all the first coat. So here's the thing. You can see that the baseboards are very cream colored. You can see that the bathroom is very cream colored and at first I was like, oh no, this isn't gonna work, it's too white. However, I'm gonna repaint the baseboards anyways, so we'll just paint them a little bit of a lighter color. Obviously, this is not, that's not gonna work, I don't think. So we're gonna have to repaint. The other thing was what we were gonna do in here, because you could see this room right from in the bedroom, but I have to repaint this anyways, because look it, I mean, it's, a disaster <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and repaint this and I'll probably just extend this right on in here and really this room is just gonna be its own vibe I had to stop myself for just a second because I kind of had a not a meltdown but kind of a oh no this is not what I'm looking for and I had to remind myself of my inspo picks and I was like no 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 keep going we have a vision it'll all come together in the end but because it's such a stark difference the good news is it's paint if I hate it we can go ahead and get a warmer white but we're gonna keep going and just get it done So here is a technique that I just heard about. We're gonna try it. You know how it kind of bleeds a little bit? Well, if you put a first coat of the base paint, which is the white, and then you go over it with the dark when you peel the tape back, it is supposed to be a straight line. So I don't know if this is gonna work. This is the first time I'm gonna try it, but we will see. And so you just go over it like this. So that bottom layer is the white. And what I'm doing, you can see that I have a little bit, the tape is more on the white than kind of in the crease because I want the black to overlap just a hair onto the white. So we'll see if this works. I did go in and I painted with the black right over that white. So we'll let that dry and then we will peel off the paint. We'll see. I'm literally in my pajamas. I was gonna wait to do this tomorrow, but you guys, it is amazing. Look at that. That's incredible. Oh my goodness, the best. Good morning, guys. Okay, 
I spent so much of this morning <laughs> second guessing myself and really thinking that this color was just too white. Last night, I went and got some samples. I ended up putting them down on the baseboards, a little bit off to the sides, and just kind of tried to get a feel for what this would be like. And then I thought, do I just want to change the wall color? I stopped myself and I said, nope, stick with the game plan. We have a vision for this room. It is nothing like any other room in our house. So what I decided on was we're gonna keep these walls white. And what I ended up going with was the Dove White for the trim and that's what the trim is going to look like. You can't really tell. But the other thing is that over here, we have this window with this casing and if you get up close, you can see that this is the color of the molding, but the K this window itself looks more like this, which is the Dove White. So I'm going with Dove White. I think it's gonna look great. I've got a little bit down here, so I'm happy with it. We're gonna just go with it. I have the whole entire ceiling, and then I've also got this part of the wall. In certain angles, you can very much see this. I'm gonna see how I can fix this because I'm not happy with that at all. I did get some wall texture. So to be honest, we might just cut that out and go from there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna decorate that wall yet. So I don't know if it's something that would be covered with a picture, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like I wanna do it right and I'm really not happy with what that looks like. So today my goal is to finish trimming out the black and then getting the ceiling painted and then getting this painted over here. And I'm watching Under the Tuscan Sun because it's one of my faves. I've painted the trim and all the things on that door. I think it looks awesome. I need another coat on it, but you can get the gist of what that's like and you can see this is the after, and this was the before. Much, you can see the contrast a ton there. And now, it just kind of blends, which I love, love. Love the way the wall came out. I need to go in and do a second coat, just cutting everything in. All of the trim work is done. So I just need to go in now with the roller and finish everything out. I'm also thinking of getting one by twos in 12 foot uh, strips and putting those on the wall. I think it would add amazing detail back there. We will finish all of this off today. For sure we'll get the room finished off painting and then I am going to tackle in here after. This has just been my workstation right here. It's been very handy to have this table. This is the wall texture. I think I might have showed you that already, but I'll have to decide if we're gonna use that or not. So we actually had this room painted by professionals before we moved in, and OMG, they didn't even take the face plates off. I'm like, who does that? Not professionals. We paid a lot of money for that too. So here is what all the face plates look like. You can see there's one right there too. They all look like that. So I'm just scraping the paint off and I'm painting them with the wall paint. And it actually looks just fine. But oh, I'm like, geez, that's terrible. And technically I could have just bought these. They're like 47 cents at Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> but why? They're perfect. They just had paint all over them. So scrape off, repaint, perfection.
Rob just came in. We took this down. I am not taking down the brace. This is good enough. Nobody's going to see behind there, but those are in studs and it's super secure. So I don't want to mess with that. So when we move, sell our house, if we ever do, we'll take that down <laughs> and I will repaint that. I feel like I probably should have done a small little test spot, but we'll see how it goes. But it went on really, really well. So I'm gonna let this sit. I'm supposed to have what's called a knockdown knife, which I don't have, which I'm assuming is like a putty knife. So I kind of went and I went through it, but I don't, I'm kind of thinking that splotchy <laughs> is more the look we're going for. It is time to put up the molding. So these are one by twos. Rob and I have already cut them. I went to Lowe's. I loaded these up all by myself in the car. <laughs> they were hanging out the window. It was pretty funny, but we got them home. Nobody got hurt. We are good to go. So we're going to hang these on the wall vertically. Now this is a design decision. I want them to only go to the halfway point. I have a fun decorative thing going on over here. So that is what we are going to tackle next. I laid them out, or I just set them up against, and why do I love the whiteness? This is kind of the gist of what I'm going for. So we are going to nail them starting from the very top. When they are up against the wall, I'll put the caulking here and then we're, the game plan is to paint it black. It's gonna look amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. I've only got two in it for now. This is just okay. to get it set yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should probably, I was thinking we should probably do like six. Yeah, we'll figure out how we were going to do yeah. it. It's a 12 foot run. We have two at the bottom, one at the top. If we did two feet every run, we'd have two, four, six, eight, ten. So if I did two feet after every one, we get a two, four, six, eight, ten. That's five, that's seven. So maybe a little bit more than that. Or a little bit less than that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. morning guys for me it's the next day <laughs> for you it's a few seconds I got my go-go juice going down the hatch and boy do I need it I got an early start this morning I have my caulking gun here which I've never done this before I'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory um, but I'm gonna watch a couple of videos after this just to make sure I understand what it is exactly I'm supposed to do and then I've got my paint right here. And this is the tricorn black, which I love. We are painting it black. I hesitate for a minute and I'm like, do I wanna keep them white? Because it looks awesome. Like what if I just painted them the color of the trim? I have to tap in the nails. Most of them went all the way in the finishing nails, but some of them are sticking out a little bit. I gotta tap it in. Let me go find a little tapper thing. <laughs> I don't have a little tapping thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this. I think this will work. We'll see. Like that. It just needs to like go in a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> this is also why it's really important to have the right tools. Dang it. All right, let's try this. It's a precision screwdriver set i use this thing all the time i love it and we've got this right here so let's see if this works any better hmm. we are back i got Nail punch, a bigger nail punch, just in case I need a bigger one. And I've got some more 
panel nails just in case. I kind of feel like we need to put a little bit longer ones in there. So here's the deal. This is not the best situation because it only does one and a quarter inch. And I'm pretty sure those are needing more than one and a quarter inch. So the guy that I talked to at Lowe's suggested these, which is one and five eighths inch. He said, you just need them a little bit longer and they are like ridged so that it'll grab. So we're going to go ahead and add these as well, which actually is going to make more hole punching for me, <laughs> but I want to do it right. I don't want this to look half ass. This came in a set. I think it was like five bucks. And then I also got this huge one. <laughs> it's a really big, he goes, you're not going to need that. And I said, but in the future, will I need it? And will it be one of those things that stops a project midway? I will take it. <laughs> it was only a couple bucks. So I got a big one too. We actually did use a couple of bigger nails up there. So I think this is going to help for that. So anyways, let's go. I am, I'm really trying to stay super positive. I feel like the tide has turned a little bit for me attitude wise. And what I thought was going to be a super easy, quick project, this is taking forever, <laughs> but let's go. This is going much better. You can see I've got the new nails in here. I'm able to, and I've already nail punched that in. So you can see that it's kind of like indented. Well, I hope you can see that in there. And then I'll go in with the wood filler and then I can get that smooth. I'm gonna go back in with a sander and just sand it down so it's nice and smooth. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing. Playing and waiting around. Yeah. Gosh, it's taking you a long time to put in some nails. I go slow. But I you're also you're also covering them too, huh? I'm covering them and I'm punching them in. Okay. Well, if you've only done half of, I feel like you've been banging for two hours. <laughs> well, well, wait a second. I took a break. I came down and talked to the AC people with you. Don't make that face at me. I'm making it to myself. I I'm it. <laughs> I'm I'm doing the I'm doing all the things and I'm doing it correctly. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute. Does it look like those are in way better with what you're doing? Yeah, it's dumb. So we should have just put those in last night. Yeah. Well, we I didn't knew have it. them last and night. And you knew I and knew. I knew you knew, but you didn't want to tell me because I, I did not want I did not want to not use your gun. I didn't want to not do this. I was like, you know what? Just put it in. And, uh, and I appreciate that, and that is a lesson learned for me that can't go super cheap on all the things. Like at some point, you have to spend a little bit. Okay. All right, I'll let you get back to your whatever you're doing. <laughs> I love you, boy. I'm a happy girl. That worked much better. I'm glad I went and got the right tools. Now we call. We will just have to see <laughs> how this goes. So here's the thing. I feel like sometimes I did great and sometimes it was a total disaster. Definitely getting used to figuring out how to use this gun. But as I was going on, I feel like I was definitely getting a lot better. I almost feel like I probably should have watched a video on that because I did not. I assumed it would be somewhat easy and it is simple, but I don't have my technique down yet. And I'm hoping that the amount of like extra that I have is not going to be a big deal, but it is what it is. I gotta get in the shower. I gotta get myself ready. I've got an appointment, so we will come back to this project later on this afternoon.
the caulking is done. I got better <laughs> as I went on, but it is still definitely not beautiful. But you know what? It's okay. It is done. We're just gonna see how it goes. So I gotta let it dry, then I'm gonna tape, then I'm gonna lay down the white paint, then we'll paint black. And you guys just saw that I sanded down with the sander. Ah, oh, game changer! So good, and they're so smooth. Ah, oh, love, 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 love. So, I feel like the fates were on my side on that one, because everything else <laughs> took a really long time. So now, I'm going to tape, then I'm gonna put the white down, and then we'll paint it black. One of the biggest tips I can give <laughs> if you are painting, mix your paint. I learned my lesson the hard way regarding black paint. Mix, 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 mix. Love, love, love how it has turned out. These white walls are gorgeous. The detailed wall back there, oh my gosh. I love the trim molding. I have a very specific design in mind for that back wall. Cannot wait to share that with you guys too. So this is part one of four. The next video is going to be shopping for some of our thrifted items that we've got in here. Uh, we've got some DIYs to do. I will tell you, I have a table makeover coming your way. It's epic. Of course, part four is going to be the reveal of this bedroom makeover, and it is night and day. But this room now will definitely have its own vibe. My goal was not to break the bang for this makeover, so I DIY'd some thrifted goods. I upcycled and reused, repurposed, clean some of the furniture that we already have within the house, which was awesome because not only did it work in here, but it decluttered other areas of our home. And like I said, I was trying to not break the bank for this makeover, so I absolutely had to do this. And I will tell you, this was not a cheap project. The cost was definitely more than anticipated just for the base items, the base things to get this room painted and things like the paint we use. So I used one gallon of the black paint and that is basically two coats plus a third coat for touch-ups. The white paint we used four or five gallons. I can't even remember at this point, but that again, two coats of just the base paint and then some touch-ups. And then I had a, a gallon of the trim, baseboards, uh, doors, all of that. 
all of those paints add up. Not to mention the tools that you need, right? The rollers and the paint brushes and the trays. I got an extender pole. So a lot of the things that I did have to invest in, I'm still going to have a lot of that stuff too. Like we're going to clean the paint brushes. I have um, the, the trays for the rollers. I have the extender. Uh, I have the reusable. I bought a big package of the reusable inserts for the trays. So you can just pop those out and throw them away. They're just a few cents, but those are all investments that I made. And I know I'm going to be doing some future projects for sure. So that is a cost that I am absorbing now. Even things like the drop cloth. So that drop cloth was like 25 bucks, I think, which is pretty pretty expensive for a piece of material that's going to go over the floor. But so you can use old blankets, things like that, which I would highly suggest if you don't want to invest in an actual drop cloth. I'm glad I did because I don't have an extra blanket to just throw on the ground and get paint all over. But there are some serious splatters on that drop cloth. And I didn't want to just use sheets because as much as these floors will need to be replaced eventually, that was not in the budget this go round. And I needed to make sure that I protected the floor. So now I have them all. So next time I am doing a project, I've got the things I need on hand. I learned so much in this process. I learned how to use a caulking gun. I learned how to texturize a wall. I tried a new technique for making a perfect line. And that is one thing that I was, um, I actually feel like I am pretty good at cutting in with just a, an angled brush, but this technique it freaking works and it is amazing. And if you want a perfect crisp line, what I showed you guys, it works. My tip on that is to buy good tape and then just make sure that it is sealed down really well. But you know what the biggest thing is? I feel so empowered to take on these bigger projects. Yeah, I've painted rooms before. I've decorated areas within our house. It's, I love home decor stuff, but this I feel like was on a different level. I love that I did the work myself. I very much enjoyed having a vision, finding a vision. I love I love Pinterest, I love Google, I love Instagram and TikTok to get design ideas, but then knowing that I can have that vision and then bring it to life has been so empowering. I don't know, I feel like it's unleashed a beast in me. <laughs> so definitely more home projects coming. Okay, so let's talk paint. One of my biggest tips is buy good paint. I ended up using the Valspar Signature line uh, from Lowe's. I was pretty positive I was gonna need to first prime and then cover these walls because they were so pigmented, right? That pink was so vibrant and dark that I was pretty sure I would have to do four or five coats in primer to cover it up with white, but I did not. So I ended up using the signature line at Lowe's. It looks like this, it is Valspar. When you buy paint that is good quality, it's gonna save you time, you're gonna have to do less coats. It's going to save you money in the long run because you'll have less paint to actually put on the walls. So invest in good quality paint. I was really happy with the signature line. It is like the middle brand of that line at Valspar and it's wonderful. I highly, highly recommend and suggest it. So we ended up using, it is Swiss coffee in eggshell for the white walls. I used white dove in semi-gloss for all the trim, the baseboards, the doors, and then I used tricorn black, which is their darkest black at Valspar. It's very deep, it is super rich. I love this black. We used the matte or flat finish. I will say that when you use a flat finish like that, it is very unforgiving. So you can see a lot of the nicks in the walls. If you didn't sand something down perfectly, if you retextured a wall, you're gonna see it. But sometimes it's not about perfection. Sometimes it's just about the look that you're going for and it absolutely worked for us. And even though it isn't 
100% perfect, it still looks awesome. You guys saw this room. It's a big room, so we needed a lot of paint. And not only did we do this bedroom, but I do have extra paint too that we're going to paint in the where the shower is because I haven't gone that far. But we also painted that sink area too, so we needed a lot of paint. So let's just touch on time management for a second. And when you're going into a project, give yourself a little bit of grace because you don't know what problems are gonna come up. You don't know what situations are going to arise. You might change and pivot like mid plan on what you're going to do, which is gonna add a little bit of time. That's okay as long as you plan and prepare for that. So I knew that I had actually allotted myself a week to paint this bedroom. The good news is that it only took two full coats of paint on the walls to cover up the color and then just some extra touch up. So I was anticipating I was gonna have to prime and then also do two or three coats on top of that. So what I thought was going to take about a week only took three days to actually paint this room. Now the bathroom where the sink is, it's such a smaller space. I gave myself like two hours. I was thinking I'm gonna knock this out really quick and then we'll move on other things it took all day again hot dog roller don't use this use the proper tools it's gonna save you time in the long run so you want to plan it out as best you can pivot where you need to tweak things up when you need to and give yourself a little bit of grace not everything is gonna go the way that you anticipate if it does awesome and amazing and that's just a bonus right always anticipate that something is going to happen and then the other thing is put on really good music or watch some of your favorite movies or shows. I watch Devil Wears Prada, Under the Tuscan Sun, The Grinch. I know, it's July. I did watch The Grinch. <laughs> it's one of my absolute favorite movies, but I've seen those movies so many times that I don't even need to see what's on the screen so I could still be painting while listening to it and I it was like I was watching the movie. And then you can also watch or catch up on your Netflix show. I started the Umbrella Academy. Pretty good show. I think I'm just now into maybe season two. I don't know. They just kept playing the episodes. Like literally, I've been in here for days. But I think it's a good idea, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of hard, physical, mentally draining sometimes work, is to have that background noise for you and things that are gonna keep your spirits up and stay positive. Like listen to audiobooks or podcasts, things like that makes a project I think go a lot smoother. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know how this room makeover turns out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video, bye.